So um, this space in here is um, stuff that I've collected for many years. <laughs> um, it's everything that I kind of have on my wall in my house because um, I think it's all from my bedroom and I think a bedroom should definitely reflect someone's sort of uh, personality or like say a bit about who they are. So I like that whole idea of reflecting something, re reflecting yourself through other things. And um, so the reason I put this up in here is it's kind of like welcome into my world, you know, like all the photos are about my life and what I do. And I thought I needed to kind of go a bit deeper as well. So this is replicating my room. I mean, this is actually my TV. Um, can't afford a better one just yet. So uh, I, I, it's nice, I left these graffiti pens out for people to kind of tag on the TV so that I had a nice memento to bring home with me uh, to remind me of the show. And the, the footage on here is stuff that has been, um, I've been filming for the past three years just on a like desaturated VHS tapes. And it's cross cut with footage from uh, when I was one and leading up to my second birthday that my dad had filmed when, uh, when I was a kid. So I think there's that sort of more like extensive depth, which people might not realize at first, but um, which is why I put some of these up on the wall, which are all screenshots of the uh, things that are going on in the film. So for instance, you've got this one here, which is, uh, th this is my mum in the middle picking me up when I was one and um, surrounding it is you know, a couple photos of people smoking weed <laughs> or really drunk um, at a party. I just like that contrast of uh, like juxtaposing my youth with the present day and it's, you know, a lot of the time you just think like, shit, how, how did I get here? <laughs> but um, we go on to like over here. This is a film poster which it's kind of annoying because it's a Hammer film. It's one of my favourite films called The Devil Rides Out. But this is the American poster and it says The Devil's Bride on it. So when it arrived I, ages ago I thought it was the wrong thing and it wasn't, it wasn't for like a month that I realised it was just the American... Because I got it when I was really young, um, that it was the American poster, but it's quite funny. Um, I've just got bits on the walls from like my favourite films. Uh, obviously this is my grandmother holding me when I was a baby. Um, and a few kind of photos that I felt I didn't want to use in the project because they weren't kind of concise enough about my story. But I kept them in because there are photos, it's, it's more about the time when I took them. So these two are from when my, uh, when my grandmother passed away. Uh, I took them on the same day. And I just, I don't know, this sort of like urban decay of this pillar just crumbling. I think another thing that's quite symbolic about life and mortality. And then as we go a bit further, here's an, another picture of my grandmother holding me when, um, when I was just born. Well, a little bit after, not straight away. Um, and I've pinned her in, uh, in Dublin, in where, where she's from. And um, there's just a few funny, there, it, because it's stuff from my room, there were some really weird little uh, additions, like this, this photo, this school photo. I thought that this was um, a, uh, uh, my, my, one of my best friend's sisters because it was on his fridge at his house and I thought, oh you know what will be funny, I'm going to take this, put it on my wall, because he was coming around later that day, put it on my wall and see if he notices. And he did and he, he came around and he was like, Cole, like, what the fuck, why have you got a picture of her? And I was like, oh it's your sister man, isn't, isn't that funny? And he was like, mate, like, that's my parents' goddaughter, I've met her like once, I have no idea who she is. So I thought it would be even funnier to kind of keep that going with him and uh, put it up in the show just as a little little easter egg for him. And he, he found it so funny, so it worked out. And obviously everything throughout, this American flag is something that I've had since I was a kid. Underneath all of this, it, there's spray paint on it that when we had a party at my place, this one time someone spray painted on it, suck on my fat one, which I thought was quite funny. And uh, so I think it's from Stand By Me. And I, I love Stand By Me, so it's, it's, quite, it's quite good. Um, but I think the reason why I've included a lot of this sort of Americana aesthetics, obviously this photo from when I was in New York um, of an American flag, it just, um, 
I don't know, I've always, when I was a kid, I grew up loving cowboys, and you know, I'd make my dad buy me loads of guns and stuff, which is funny because my, my grandmother hated, absolutely hated us playing with guns when we were younger. And um, I don't know, that sense of like cowboy and like the Wild West just seems like there's such a free, I'd like such a freedom there. Um, well, maybe not so much anymore, but in the 1800s. And um, I don't know, it's always something that has always been a bit of a fantasy for me, you know. Even still, I still think like, ah, oh, being a cowboy would be so fun. <laughs> Which is another reason why there's a lot of horse uh, symbolism, a lot of uh, pictures of horses. And in the video there's this uh, clip of a white horse riding at night, which to me is just like there's so much atmosphere in it. But in the visuals there's so much atmosphere, but um, when I was actually there, it was just this really narrow uh, country road which me, me and my dad were driving through. And um, the, these horses were just in the way. And obviously we can't just drive over the horses. Not that we would anyway, like I'm a vegan, I don't even, you'd touch anything to do with an animal. Um, but uh, we, were just, we were just giggling so much and just couldn't stop laughing. I think if the, uh, if the sound was on the footage, it would just not have the same sort of feel at all. But um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of movie references as well. So like, obviously Alain Delon, uh, River Phoenix, um, Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. This one's really scary as well. Uh, Dennis Hopper in Blue Velvet. I think the reason why I've included these is because I always I kind of I get, go through a stage of really idolising people, and I find some people so interesting like their lives. And River Phoenix is one of them, I think he had such a mad, mad, mad childhood. Um, you know, like with, uh, his parents were in a cult. And it was just, oh, mad for them. Which obviously relates to the whole aspect of my show being about childhood. Uh, well, not all of it, but a lot of it. Um, I just think like, you can tell a lot about a person from the sort of films they watch. And same with the sort of uh, music that people listen to. I think it, I don't know, it definitely, um, it definitely sort of helps get a further insight into what you're trying to do, like influences in work as well. Because David Lynch is one of my favorite film directors. He was, I, I watched A Razorhead uh, with, with my dad, and my brother and my mum when I was really young. And I remember just thinking, what the fuck did I just watch? Like, this is insane. And um, I still, to this day, think exactly the same thing. Like, I'm still trying to figure it out, but we'll see, maybe one day. <laughs> and um, this kind of final wall here. This photo, actually, I really, I'm, I'm glad I can talk about this. I was going through some of my dad's old stuff, and um, I found this picture, which three dead chickens hanging up. I thought, that's perfect like, to, for, for the project. And um, I put it up, and at the private view, my uncle came, and he was like, all right, I'm pissed off that there's not a photo of me up on the wall, but I am so glad that this is up. And I was like, well, why? And um, it, he took it. He took it when he was, he must have been about 18, when um, my grandfather died. Their, their father um, died of cancer when my dad was 16 and my uh, uncle was 18. And um, he took this because my granddad was who looked after the chickens, so I think they killed them because they just couldn't look after them. They had to, I think they had to move house and there was just a whole sort of big thing going on. And the reason why I find it really symbolic is because there are three of them. There's my auntie, my uncle and my dad. And to me, like, the photo sort of represents what they were feeling around that time where their father had died and it just like resonates for me and I relate it so much to what I was feeling when my grandmother died and it's just mad like the fact that it was so tightly linked and I, and I had no idea at first I just thought like ah a photo of <laughs> representing mortality like I'll put that in there it's just funny how um how there's so much more to it and then uh this is a collage I did on a used skateboard which um I don't know, I felt I needed to pull a bit more into the whole skate culture of uh, like my life because it is something that is pretty prominent. I mean, I'm not, 
I'm not as good as my friends are, which is probably one of the reasons why I do the photos, but um, <laughs> it, um, I don't know, it's definitely something that is important to me. So I wanted to sort of express that on the board. And I guess it's a bit more experimental than uh, the kind of more traditional collages I've done. And uh, finally, there's a more sort of section of stuff in my room, uh, another sort of collage I've done. This black flag t-shirt that I've had for, for years and years. Uh, they're one of my favourite bands. I just think it, I don't, I don't really still to this day know how I ended up with it or know how I got it. But um, look, one night in London, uh, well, not just a night, like throughout a week in London, I kind of just like, I found it, it was just in my room in halls. And I was just like, shit, whoever left this here is not getting it back. <laughs> and um, I just think it's, it's interesting, like the bringing music into it as well, because I, I think like music and writing and photography are all so closely linked. And then this is my, uh, when I was in, uh, in year six, so I must have been, I think you're 10, 10 years old when you leave year six. It's the, my leaving shirt, but, um, it's just funny how how crude people still were back then, you know, like when uh, when you're a kid, like people have written like I am gay and <laughs> just like so much crazy, just weird stuff. And um, I just think including this as well is all to do with sort of the sense of childhood and, you know, where you begin. And just, I don't know how, f it just spins me out how far things have kind of come since then. And I, I know it's, it's a, it's a while ago now, but I still remember a lot of it. I still remember so much of being a kid. And the whole representing school, like, I hated school so much. There was so much sort of pseudo-masculinity just oozing around. And I think it's important for me to kind of show that with this, and there's a lot of what I'm speaking about with the collages as well, is thoughts in the past. Um, but yeah, definitely wanted to bring a sort of like, school aspect into it as well.